Hello again, and this time, uh, hello Stephen King fans and horror fans in general. And uh, what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to do another Stephen King collection update, which I was checking on my, the videos on my channel, and I hadn't done one one in over a year. So it's time for, for an update for this, for this collection. All right, I'll start with the books. Here we have The Outsider, which is in first edition hardcover. I got this at Walmart. It's got the sticker still. I'm haven't taken it out yet. I have not read this, even though I, I bought this several months ago. You know, so because it's not that I haven't been reading. I have, but just um, other stuff, all right? So I do want to get back into uh, the Stephen King vibe with The Outsider. I think that's a pretty cool cover. Check out the back. There we go. There's King. Okay. I read it. This is a very um, a dark novel, which um, for me that's cool. So I'm looking forward to it. And now for a very light novel, which is uh, which I have read. This is Elevation by Stephen King, and I right now I said novel, but look, it's really very short, and the font is very big. So this is really more of a short story. I mean, doesn't doesn't even really qualify as a novella. And I read it. It's interesting, you know. He, uh, Stephen King has some some um, thoughts here. Uh, his own personal politics shine in this book. Um, you know, he puts them forth regarding um, uh, discrimination and stuff like that. All right, I found it to be just very light. You know, it, the ending is a, kind of like a, one of those non-endings. So just an interesting read, but nothing more than that. Okay, a lot of people were a bit disappointed with this one. And now here we have a couple of paperbacks that I bought at a at a book fair. And um, the first one is here, a Black House by Peter Straub. I mean, by Stephen King and Peter Straub, of course. This is the sequel to The Talisman. And I have not read The Talisman yet. And, of course, I haven't read this one yet. So I have to read, read The Talisman first and then Black House. Here we go, paperback. It's hmm, still pretty good condition. The pages are uh, mostly their original color. And here's one that I have read, and uh, I read it quite some time ago, even though not in this, well, in this, uh, the original I bought was in this paperback edition with the same cover. But uh, that uh, copy that I have uh, uh, grew moldy, so I had to throw it away. And it, this is one that I have been wanting to reread, Insomnia, by Stephen King. All right. Here, it's a pretty thick book. It's one of his longest books. Here in paperback form, it's... Uh, 663 pages so um, not the longest but yes uh, one of the the longer ones insomnia by Stephen King now we go on to the movies we have here this uh, six pack of Stephen King films six film collection we got App Pupil, Bag of Bones the miniseries, Christine, Secret Window, Sleepwalkers and Stand By Me all right, um, I've seen all of these, of course, even though not in this. Uh, I saw them all either when they originally aired or in the movies, right? So, like Bag of Bones, that was a TV miniseries, and I saw it when it when it first came out. I thought it was just okay. Of these, I believe that the the best one is Christine, right? Secret Window is based on a on a novella, I be believe, and also a pupil. Sleepwalkers is the one I that I already have. I already have Sleepwalkers on a separate DVD, so I got I got a double now. It's about the Wear Cats. Stand by Me, of course. It's the coming of age story, and Christine, the killer car uh, movie, Bag of Bones is a ghost story. Stephen King six, six film collection right there. Another movie here. Another another miniseries, Storm of the Century. Got this at a flea market. And it used to be a blockbuster uh, rental. As you can see right there, blockbuster. So that's the now defunct Bob Blockbuster, which, yes, there were two of those in my city. Of course, they are no longer, even though I rented many a movie there and I bought many movies there as well. Storm of the Century, a very interesting uh, miniseries. A bit uh, of a slow burn, but pretty good. And now, of course, here we have It. 
the remake, it part one, as I'm making out this video, it part two has not yet come out. Here we have it on DVD. I got the DVD, you know, the, the Blu-ray that I was um, looking for was a, still a bit expensive, so I just decided to settle for the for the DVD. I saw the movie in the movie theaters, uh, I believe, uh, three times when it, when it first came out. And I really loved it, of course. And the last one here I'm going to show for the movies is this one. Now, this is for another, just like Blockbuster, another defunct, defunct uh, uh, video rental service that we had here in Mexico called Bitbox, where it was a vending machine that where you could rent a movie. You could still see those in the United States. Uh, but here they were, they existed for a short time and then they were gone. This is The Dark Tower. It says La Torre Oscura, which means, of course, The Dark Tower. And, I, and when when this company was going out of business, what you could do was um, go to the vending machine and you could buy the movie instead of renting it. And I got it really super cheap. The last item I'm going to show is Christine, the car. Here is a die cast metal a model of a 1958 Plymouth Fury, which is a Christine. This one is a it came in a packaging that said Christine. You know, Stephen King's Christine. There you go. On the side. Just as a size comparison, let me put a DVD next to it. The doors open. On both sides. It would have been cool if the trunk and the hood opened, but they do not. Nope, they don't. There you go. Christine. Alright, well that's it for my uh, Stephen King collection update. Like I said, I haven't done one in a long time. I hope to get more King stuff, but I, I'm really not going to get more until I read some of the novels that I'm that are still on my uh, to be red pile all right so thank you very much for watching and so long